It's like I have never combed my lash hair. So your natural lashes look non-existent even when you use mascara, sis, me too. But in today's video, I will show you how to make your natural lashes look seductive. A while ago, I did a campaign and the lash makeup artists on the set actually showed me these tips and tricks. It's, it's taken me a few years to try and adopt these processes for myself because sometimes I like to just wear my natural lashes, but I realize that they don't look as gorgeous as they could look, okay? One option that I could do is actually go in to get a lash lift, but I don't know anybody around me who does them and I haven't seen any reviews of someone who's close to me who's done a lash lift and hasn't lost an eye. So today I'm gonna to revert back to what I learned from the makeup artist on set, okay? Yes, it's a curler for your lashes. This is what it looks like. Of course, there's several many different types, several many different brands. This one I picked up from Amazon. It's rechargeable. This is what it looks like in the packaging. The actual tool, this is what it looks like when you open it. It has like a groove and in that groove is where the curling lashes or the things that will curl your lashes are. You can turn it on and it comes in several different heat strengths. The kit I got also included heat lash curler. I have actually seen Nikki Tutorials do this thing where she puts a lighter to her regular lash curler and she uses that to curl her lashes. Like, listen, I am scared to do that to myself because, listen, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm chicken, okay? So I opted for the automatic heated lash curler. This is what that looks like. And of course, this is the heated part of the lash curler and the on button is right there. When you turn it on, the green light turns on and it starts heating up. Hey, this is heated up, but it's not super hot. Like it's not burning hot, okay? So first things first, we are going to curl up our lashes with the heated lash curler. Okay, so the way to use the heated lash curler, if you can put a mirror right in front of you like this, you're going to put the lash curler all the way up up to your eyes. The top part of this lash curler needs to sit on your upper lashes, but not too close to the base. And then once it sits there, you can squeeze it and bring the bottom part to it. Don't try to put your lashes on the lower part so that it can go up because by the time you move it up, your lashes are actually gonna be out of the contraption and it's not going to work. I already did my eye and instantly you can see that my lashes are slightly curled up compared to this side, which just looks like my lashes don't exist. So you're gonna take your mirror, face it directly to you, and you're going to look straight. Try not to blink. I know it's difficult. It's very difficult to not blink when you're doing this. Just try not to blink. You're gonna catch your, you're gonna look straight up, catch your lashes into the contraption, and just hold it there for a second. I can actually see my lashes in there. Definitely curled up my lashes really nicely. When you're using this product, be careful not to squeeze your skin into it. Always do a soft soft squeeze before you actually squeeze it. Just don't put your your eyes in and squeeze it right away because there's a possibility that you have caught skin and it's just going to hurt you. So just do like a light squeeze just to see what it looks like so you don't hurt yourself. Next, I've turned on this lash curler. This is a heated lash curler. It's going to help apply some more heat to the lashes so that they can curl up and stay up. So it's like you are actually curling your hair with if the heat is not enough, your hair is not gonna stay up. It's the same thing with this product, okay? It heats up, so I'm just gonna, I like to touch it to my lips because that's how I can tell if it's hot. And also I can tell how hot it can get. I'm gonna put it on number three because we want the lashes to be sky high, okay? Like just looking at my eyes, you can see that my natural lashes on this side are looking curled up. They are slightly more visible compared to this side, which is straighter. And I have a good feeling that once I use this, they're gonna stand up even more. After I put everything else on top of it, I'm just hoping that it's gonna look fantastic. What I'm doing is actually using the heated part of it on the lower part of my lashes, not the upper part of my lashes, because I need the roots of my lashes to stand. So that's where I'm gonna use it because I couldn't get very close to my to the root with my with my heated lash curler because I'm scared and I didn't want to just hurt myself. And I'm also just gonna hold it on the 
tips of the lashes so that I can stand up. I'm just running through it, pushing it up. This motion is actually making my eyes water. Look at my lashes. I feel like they're very curled up compared to the other side. This next step is something that I feel like we all should be doing. If you're not gonna put makeup on without priming, why would you put mascara on without priming? I picked up this Dior Show Maximizer 3D by accident and I found out that it was a lash primer and since then it's literally transformed my lash game to the point where it just makes my lashes thicker and they end up looking fuller whenever I apply mascara to it. Now in that video I was told that L'Oreal also has a lash primer that works. Just know that these brands are literally owned by the same parents company. So if it's from L'Oreal or it's from Lancome or it's from Dior, it's literally going to be the same products well, not the same. It's going to be like the same type of formula. It's going to work the same. The price point will be different, but it's going to work as amazing as the more high expensive one, okay? And give it a chance to dry down. This is actually what shows me that I have a lot of lash hairs, right? But generally, they're probably not visible because of how I'm applying my lash product look at this look at my lashes do you see how high up they are they're so high up and so curled up like i'm excited to go in with the mascara just so i can see what they're gonna look like so cute oh my god we're gonna give it a second to dry down before we go in with our next step oh the lashes are lashing next we're going in with our mascara this mascara i have been using for a while and i actually really love what they look like i think i'm gonna give my lashes a few more seconds to dry down applying mascara you have to make sure you're going from root to tip because if the tip is too heavy it's gonna fall right so you have to make sure that your root is very nicely coated also try not to poke yourself in the eye like i just did ow again wow so i picked up this tool I picked up this tool because it is a mascara brush or a mascara comb. You're supposed to run it through your mascara. It can help you remove excess mascara, but it's also supposed to help fan your lashes so that they look so that they look open and it gives you more volume compared to looking clumped. So let's go ahead and comb our lash hairs. Like I have never combed my lash hair, but today we're gonna comb our lash hair. It's designed to separate out your lashes so that they look bigger, fuller, and more fanned out. I like it. It's also like declumped my lashes. I really like what it's looking like, but I need to go in with a second mascara. Okay, so I need a second mascara with a more open spoolie and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going through with a mascara that has a spoolie that is not as close together as the first mascara we used. So it's going to keep my lashes separated out the way that I just showed you. And I'm going to make sure to once again focus on the roots going up. But do you see how very gorgeous these lashes look right now? I'm loving it. Look at my lashes lashes are going up. They look fuller. I don't need falsies if I don't want to. If I add a liner to this look, it's over. I don't want to line it so that you guys can actually see what the lashes are doing, but this is what the lashes are doing. I love what it's looking like. Compared to this side without, you know, nothing, you can barely see my lashes. Like, of course, I did a lot to the other side to get it to show up, but you can barely see it. Wow. Okay, let's do the... I'm going to do the bottom lashes really quickly and I'll come back. Okay, with my lower lashes done, this is what my lashes are looking like. I'm going to add a small liner on the outer part of my eye. I don't want to line it, but I feel like now is the time to do so. Because once I do, it's going to just change everything about this look. I also put the black eyeliner and did like a tight... And did tight lining on my upper waterline as well as my lower waterline that way it can fill in any of the gaps that may appear or show up in my lashes this is what my lashes are looking like like right now 
I don't need to wear falsies if I don't want to. Of course, they're still drying down, but they look really good. I absolutely love it. Two mascaras, two heated lash curling tools, one very black eyeliner, and I have amazing lashes that literally look like falsies. I'm here for it. Everything looks really, really gorgeous right now. I'm loving it. Let me know down in the comments what you think.